Um, so if you look at, at the data center right now, in order to build a large cloud operation, it's really about you know, getting them to run as efficiently as possible and with as little overhead as possible. And, and the long pole in the tent is networking. And until we virtualize it, we're not going to hit those gains. The network interconnects servers and it interconnects storage. And today, the operational model is very, very manual and it's very inflexible. And if you virtualize that, you unleash the potential to have everything automated and everything flexible. So Open vSwitch lives within the kernel on every server. And what the Nasira product does is it stands outside of the server and it orchestrates all of these. And it orchestrates them in a way that it makes it look like virtual networks exist that can be spanned across all of the servers. So we work with customers that run data centers. And I would say that they have two primary problems. So the first problem is resource efficiency. That how, how if you are a cloud provider, do you run a data center where all of the resources are utilized fully. And the second problem is operational efficiency, which is how do you operate that without requiring a lot of headcount and a lot of operational overhead. And the way that network virtualization comes to bear in this environment for resource utilization, it allows you to place any workload anywhere. So for example, if you have a server that's underutilized, you can move a workload over there. Or when you're spinning up a new tenant or a new application, you can spin it up in any of the pockets that are underutilized. And because network virtualization can be totally programmatic and totally flexible, it doesn't require operators in order to run, which gives you the operational savings. I believe Linux, KVM, OpenStack, and OpenVSwitch which are really bringing us to kind of the next generation of computing infrastructure. And so we are moving from client server into the cloud. And it's really about making infrastructure software defined. That environment will be open, it will have a, a, a platform feel, and it will have multiple parties. And I think these are the core elements that are going to make that happen. We're definitely entering an era where cloud is taking over. And I think that customers are used to looking forward uh, towards Red Hat as the leader um, in Linux to also be the leader within cloud. And so what they're asking us, and I believe they're asking Red Hat as well, is for a supported platform that allows third parties to provide a, you know, specialized value, but still have a single cohesive company that's trusted to back it, and that would be Red Hat. Our goal is to reinvent networking. I mean, uh, and, and until um, you can buy networking gear in the same way that you buy servers, and they're as flexible as servers, we're not done. And so we're just going to start in the virtualized data center, and we're going to virtualize away the fabric of the data center, and then we're going to move out from there.